Hello everyone! Today we're going to be talking about invasive species. Discussing the European starling. This bird has taken over three continents. To start off our presentation, let's get everyone on the same page. An invasive species is a species of organism that has been introduced to an area not native to it. The species would then take over some type of land and steal all the nutrients of the native plant there, possibly putting the organism to extinction. This could be a type of tree seed found on someone's shoe coming in from Asia. One way to stop an invasive species is to limit our travel, which of course we can't do. Many jobs now depend upon travel, and even trade between countries depends on it. Another possible way to potentially stop this could be to improve security check and airports. Aside from checking for the usual items, we could start to check travelers for seeds or stray pieces of plants. Now that we all know what an invasive species are about and what they do to the environment, let's talk about the European starling. European starlings are native to Europe, Asia, and Northern Africa. They were introduced to many places such as Southern Africa, Australia, and all of North America. How do European starlings even get to these many places? Well, believe it or not, European starlings were introduced by Shakespeare enthusiasts. What are Shakespeare enthusiasts, you might ask? Shakespeare enthusiasts are a group of people who loved Shakespeare's work and wanted to introduce all the birds mentioned in his plays to different places. These places were Southern Africa, Australia, and all of North America. Unfortunately, these beautiful birds are causing a problem. Starlings make a flock of more than 3,000 birds. With a flock this big, they feed on fruits and grains, which damages farms and crop industries. Starlings are aggressive birds and tend to fight with other birds over food and territory. They take over the bird's nest, leaving native birds without a home. They also carry horrible diseases, such as TGE, transmissible gastroenteritis, a disease of swine, blast mycosis, and salmonella that are all transmittable to livestock and humans. Luckily, humans are trying to put a stop to these problems. Humans are making sure they seal any openings or vents in their homes where a starling might put its nest. Scientists say by doing this, we can reduce their population. Another way that we are stopping starlings is by killing them. There is an organized agency that kills the starlings, which has made little impact. The way humans are stopping starlings is by making sure that they secure their trash. Starlings' main food source is garbage. Making sure that there is no extra garbage around will cut some of their food sources. This can reduce their population. That wraps up our presentation for today. But before we go, let's recap on what we talked about today. We learned about what invasive species are, how they affect the environment, how they affect us, and we talked about an example of these species about how this species is affecting the world and some possible solutions to stop it. One problem at a time. We hope that you learned something new today and that you enjoyed this video. Bye! Created using Powtoon.